All right, so on this edition of Things I Like Thursday, I want to develop a little bit more the idea that we talked about yesterday about the secret to success is trying different things and the willingness to try different things. Um, I remember a cartoon, it's probably Looney Tunes, um, which I've been described as sometimes, mostly by my wife. But there was a cartoon about a bunch of lemmings, and the lemmings follow each other over the cliff. And I always remember seeing that as a kid and thinking, well, I'm not going to be one of those. I don't want to follow the crowd. I want to do the opposite of what the crowd is doing, because most of the time the crowd is following each other into oblivion, as evidenced by this uh, cartoon that I was seeing. That image just stuck in my head and man was it an interesting image to have in my head over the last three years and what a conversation that we could open up regarding that. So I won't do that right now but what I will do is talk about the value of standing out by doing something different, by you know, and that's not everybody. Not everybody likes that. Not everybody wants that. Some people want to just blend in. With me, I always wanted to do something different. I always wanted to have a unique vehicle. Um, I don't know, assert my individuality, let's say. Um, I've always felt that way. Not to be flashy about it, but just to be, you know, not doing what everybody else is doing. So in my practice, that's always what I've wanted to do. I don't want to practice like everybody else. So I developed equipment registered medical devices that would help patients in ways that other things couldn't do. So that's one of the things I wanted to do to be an individual in my practice. Um, with respect to being able to do that for patients, that's a, a great, great thing to be able to do um, as a doctor. So if you're a doctor that is watching this and that's something that you know, you're interested in doing as well, we do have the technology to make that happen. If you're a patient watching this and you've suffered with something that you thought there was no solution for, um, by doing something different and trying something different, um, especially by having the faith to try something different, because that's usually the biggest part. Most of the time, patients have been told by other professionals that eh, there's nothing we can do to help you. I get those patients every day in my office. I'm waiting for a surgical consult, but the doctor says they don't want to do it yet, or they can't do it, or they can't help me, and this patient is just lo for a, a loss of hope, and that's a heartbreaking thing for me to see, because most of the time, I know there are solutions to at least make them feel a little better. In most cases, or in many cases, unfortunately, um, you know, doctor doesn't know what to do, so they say, well, you know, I'm going to send you to this specialist. Your wait for the specialist might be a number of months, and I'm hoping that maybe you'll feel better at that time and we don't have to deal with it anymore. So it's a way often to get them out of the office because they don't have a solution. If they only knew about all the other solutions that exist now because of new technology. So my mission, going back to Monday, is to get these innovative devices out to as many doctors as possible so they can help as many patients as possible. So far, we've been able to start doing that. It's such an exciting and humbling thing for me to see that. So back to the thing I like. The thing I like, two things, is being able to help patients that nobody else could help. And the much bigger picture for me is to be able to help doctors help patients that nobody else has been able to help. That way, the good we do is exponential. So anything in life for you, if there's something that you're struggling with, whether it be a physical pain issue, whether it be a mental pain issue, whether it be success at work, whether it be success at a skill, a task, do something different. That's how you may get those breakthroughs. When you're lifting weights, for example, and you get to a plateau and you can't lift anymore, anymore, anymore. Sometimes doing different exercises to strengthen different muscles, create more stability in a joint from a different angle, that gets you above that plateau. That gives you the jump you need to get 
beyond the plateau. Sometimes it's a new supplement. Sometimes it's changing your routine, the time of day, the amount of sleep you get, the amount of protein you intake. There are all these little adjustments that are different things than you've been doing before you got to that plateau. So this is helpful with anything in life. If you need to learn new knowledge, don't be afraid to learn new knowledge. There's a concept, it's a concept that I've always used. Apparently it's a big Tony Robbins concept. I just learned that in the last couple days. Um, it's called, I think it's called No Wasted Time, something like that. Talks about uh, if you're doing one thing, it's, it's not quite a multitasking. If you're exercising, listen to an audiobook to learn. Um, I've been doing that for years, watching podcasts, listening to podcasts, watching educational things, audiobooks. During the time that I'm doing other things where I'd just be, you know, chirping away on a, on a bike or lifting weights or whatever, I could spend that time listening to music, which is also good sometimes, or I could spend that time feeding my brain at the same time. That's what I've found is incredibly helpful. So if I can leave you with one piece of advice today from something I like, audiobooks. I don't like reading. I like when somebody reads to me. It's just, you know, not that I'm lazy to read. It's just that I can then take my time and condense it. I can learn and get something done at the same time. So find yourself an audiobook that has some type of thing that you think may be advantageous to your base of knowledge. For me, time management books, um, organizational books, business books, um, <clears throat> sometimes technical, technical books that I'm trying to learn something about, you know, new things I can do mechanically with devices and um, all that information, that knowledge comes into me through an audiobook. Um, it's a great thing. So try something different if you're stuck. Don't be afraid to try something different. Don't go into trying something different thinking that it isn't going to work. Go in with a positive mindset, thinking that it is going to work, and then if it isn't going to work, I'm either going to win or I'm going to learn because I never lose. You never lose. You either win or you learn. Hope this has helped you. I hope this has given you a little bit of information and a little bit of spur to keep moving yourself forward because that's another big goal of all these videos. I want to help people move forward. I'm doing my best to move myself forward and I want to take you with me. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.